In today's video, I'll be showing us how you can build yourself a super, super simple but effective creeper farm for the brand new 1.21 edition of Minecraft Bedrock. Guys, this creeper farm is super, super effective and can get you a whole lot of gunpowder in just a couple of minutes. And guys, if you find this video helpful, please do consider subscribing as only about 1.2% of you are actually subscribed right now. And if you guys did take your time to subscribe, it would mean a lot to me. So if you found the video helpful, please do consider subscribing. And you guys, without wasting any more time, let's get straight into the video. And to build the main part of this farm, you'll need about 11 stacks of solid block. These can be any blocks of your choice. I'll be using cobblestone for now. Then you'll need about four stacks of slabs, five hoppers, two chests, two buckets of water to make an infinite water source. Then you'll need 37 stacks of leaves. And now for each layer that you want to build, you will need five stacks of solid block, about 48 dead coral fans, and about a stack of trap doors. And to get these dead coral fans, all you have to do is just bone meal the ocean floor, then just pick up some of the coral, and once you take it out of the water for a bit, it will turn into these dead coral fans. And guys, if you want, you can build this farm with just one spawning layer, or all the way up to eight layers. I recommend building anywhere between five to six, but if you guys want the best results, you can go for eight layers, and just multiply the three items that I said at the end by however many layers you want to build. So just go ahead and grab all of these items. And now you're going to want to choose a spot to build this farm. If you guys want the best rates, I recommend building it about 100 blocks up in the air so you can just tower all the way up and just build it up there or you can build it out in the ocean over there to avoid any mobs from spawning underground but if you guys are okay with a little bit of caving and lighting up the area around here, you can go ahead and build it on land. So the first thing you have to do is to break these four blocks underground like this, then one more out here and two more just like so. Now in these two, place down your double chest, now just place in five hoppers just going into the chest like so. Then you can grab your solid blocks and place them on either side of our hoppers and place these eight blocks like that. Now you can cover the hoppers with some slabs. And now the side with the chest on it is the front of this farm. So you're going to want to make these three sides higher by one block for now and then skip this one. Now raise these by one more and place a temporary block and fill in the front as well. Then you can get rid of the temporary block. And now to stop the creepers from exploding, just place in two more slabs right here. And this is where we can kill the creepers. From. And if you guys want this to be automatic, all you have to do is just put a trident killer up here with a couple of pistons and observers and some tridents, and this farm will be fully automatic. But for the manual version, you can just do this like I've shown before. Now you're going to want to raise all of these by 15 more blocks. So in total, it should be 18 blocks tall. And once you're done with that, we can make a platform up here. To do that, just choose one of these sides. So I'm gonna choose the left side for now and go out by seven more blocks. Then you're going to want to repeat that on all four sides. And once you got this plus shape, just connect up these two sides like this. And you can do that on all four sides to make a big square. Now you can go ahead and fill in this whole area. Now that you're done building the platform, all you have to do is just make a wall going all the way around it and make it three blocks high like this. Once you're done raising the walls three blocks high like this, just make an infinite water source up here so you don't have to keep on getting some water. And then just place in a temporary block in all the corners and place a water bucket on top. And if you guys want, once you place down the water on all four sides, you can take out these blocks. Now grab some more water buckets and then fill in this entire length with water buckets except but make sure to skip one block from the solid block right here. So you're going to want to skip this block and just fill in every single block all the way until the other side but skip this block as well as if you don't do so this whole thing will be flooded and once you guys are done the water should flow perfectly until the edge like so and now before we get to building spawning platforms go ahead and spawn proof this wall by placing some slabs or glass blocks on top once you're done placing all the leaf blocks it should look a little like this now we can move on to making the spawning platforms now to get started make your way to any of the corners of the farm and place in a temporary block right there one more over here and a real block right there and you can get rid of these two temporary blocks. So as you guys can see, there should be a one by one gap on either side. Now make this a six by six platform. Once you've made the platform, it should look like this. Now grab your solid blocks and place one block right here. And repeat that on all four sides as well, like that. Now make this two blocks high. Guys, having these solid blocks in these four positions will prevent any spiders from spawning. As you guys can see, if you look at any block, it's always right next to the pillars and that will stop a spider from spawning. Now you can go ahead and make a roof on this and just make it six by six. And once you're done with that, you're going to want to place in some trap doors on every available roof block like this. So just place it all the way around like so. And boom, just like that, we have one spawning platform, which will only spawn creepers. And guys, placing these trap doors will allow for only creepers to spawn as any other mob will require two blocks of gap to spawn, while creepers only need 1.8. Now go ahead and repeat this on all four sides. Once you guys are all done making four of these little platforms, it should look a little like this. Now we can make use of the space in between. And to do that, make your way between two of these little platforms right here and place in a temporary block and go out by one and you can break that temporary block. Now make this two blocks wide and just make this all the way onto the other side like this and make it two blocks thick. Once you're done with that, repeat this along the other sides as well. Once you have this giant plus shape, 
you can go ahead and remove this 2x2 two two in the center. Now grab your solid blocks, and then go to the corner of one of these like this, then skip one block and place in our 2 block high pillar like so. Now go to the side and go down 2 blocks and place in another 2 blocks like this. Now repeat this again, one more time. And that should, and you should have three pillars like this. And now you're going to want to copy the same thing on all four sides. And once you're done making all of the pillars, go ahead and make a roof. And once you're done making the roofs, go ahead and place in trapdoors on all of the available spots up here. And once you guys have placed in all of the trapdoors, the first layer is almost complete. Now all you have to do is place in the coral fans and place them in the center gaps all the way like this. So first I'll show you one of them. Now go ahead and place them on the inside like this and place them on this side as well. And now repeat this on all four sides. And guys, make sure to put the coral fans only on the insides of the farm. As if you put them on the outside, there's a chance they might walk off and fall outside of the farm. So just put them on the inside so they can fall into the water. Now, if you guys want, you can place in four more in the center as well. And once you're done with this step, all you have to do is now repeat this as many times as you want until you are satisfied with the amount of layers of the farm. So now you're just going to want to assume this as the floor and just repeat this and build another layer on top and get as many as you want. And once you guys have built in all of the layers you want for the farm, just leave the top without a roof for now as now you're going to want to grab your slab blocks and just fill this whole area with slabs to avoid any mobs from spawning up here and once you guys are done filling in the roof with some slabs the farm should look like this now all we have to do is build the final roof on top to make this whole farm dark and to start spawning in our creepers and for that we just need our leaf so just go to one corner of the roof like this and go up by seven blocks then place in your leaf blocks like this now you're going to want to go out diagonally by 15 blocks so one, two. Once you're done on one side, go ahead and repeat that on the opposite corner as well. Once you're done making two of these, you're just going to want to make a massive square on the parameter of the roof. And once you're done building the parameter, go ahead and fill in this whole square with leaves. And once you guys have filled in the roof, you can go ahead and remove these little pillars we've made. And just like that, the farm is complete. Once you've made the roof, you might see some mobs spawning down here. So to prevent that, just go ahead and spam some torches down here if you did this over land. And if you guys built this over land and you've torched up the area, if you don't see any mobs spawning here, just save and quit and reopen your world. And to get the best loots when using this farm, make sure that your game is in hard mode. So you can change the difficulty in the settings right here and use a looting tree sword. And as you guys can see, just like that, we already got some creepers spawning in. They should walk off just like that and fall into the water. And now to get all of the creepers, all you have to do is just AFK down here. And with our looting tree sword, you should just take one hit. And just like that, we already have a couple pieces of gunpowder. And now if you AFK here, you should get a lot more of these creepers to spawn. And if you guys want to automate this process, all you have to do is just replace this bottom area with a trident killer. And as you guys guys can see this farm will only spawn creepers and the spiders won't spawn because of our pillars and you guys that's it that's how you can build yourself the easiest working creeper farm for the brand new edition of minecraft bedrock